Now what's going on everybody, my name is Fadeless for those of you that don't know and today I'm going to be keeping it short and sweet. I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up your guns very quickly and the fastest way that we have found. Uh, shout out to Lil Derpy for showing me um, the shortcut because I did not know about this beforehand. So all of his socials will be down in the description below so make sure to go check him out uh, to give him credit. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this. So if you guys enjoy anything to do with Synced, make sure to like and follow because we're going to be bringing you some more content shortly here in the future. Besides that, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here to Caraway, and you're going to want to talk what to her. What kind of trouble you're looking for today? Also, if you guys see anything, I have a cat right here. Won't leave me alone. Anyways, um, you're going to want to come over to Caraway. You're going to want to talk to her. You're going to want to go to PVE, and you're going to want to do Sector 2. I know this sounds stupid. Why not do sector, you know, let's say you're able to do sector 4 or 5. Don't do those. You want to do sector 2. Sector 2 has the easiest way to level up, and I'm going to show you why, and I'm going to show you how. So, let's get right into this game mode. Alright, so starting off, we ended up calling this boss the Green Goblin, um, as you can see. Anyways, he throws these pods, and these pods literally give you 45 XP per, per when you kill. And literally every single ad that you kill only gives you roughly around three or four. Um, so when you're able to get 45 for just killing one thing that literally does not like fight you back or do anything, that is huge. This does not only give you weapon XP, but this also gives you a ton of regular XP as well. So this is also a quick route to getting uh, max level as well. As you will see later on, we do get an insane amount of XP from this game. Um, and also weapon XP as well. Uh, but the best thing that we found through doing this was just running around trying to get him to summon some more. We got him to summon a couple more green pods during this uh, first run right here. However, we do go against him later on as well since he is the, the main boss of this sector and he ends up spawning a lot more during there. So what you can do is just keep farming and farming and farming this guy and farming the green pods and this is the quickest route to not only leveling up, but also leveling up your weapons. So after you get to the boss, you're going to want to sort of explode all of these barrels that you see. Because they will get in the way, and your teammates can accidentally kill you, which you will see here shortly. Um, our teammate Death accidentally kills Gucci Cray. Um, it was pretty funny, uh, if you guys were there, it was, it, we were all streaming, just having a good time, but that ended up happening when they were helping me out to make this video. Um, so do be careful about those barrels, because they will kill you or your teammates very quickly. But anyways, you do have to get this guy to have health in order for him to start summoning his pods. And then once you get him to have health, as you will see here momentarily, he will start to summon... Uh, more and more pods in each bar that you knock off as he starts going down he will start summoning more but in order to get him to start throwing more pods at you you do need to kill all the pods that you see around you um furthering you know gi giving you more xp and also giving you more weapon xp um we did try to test a theory of seeing uh, if we could just train him around um, and see if he would keep spawning more and more and more. Uh, but as you can see, once we got to around our last bar of health for this boss, he didn't really spawn any more around. We couldn't find any that he threw. We were trying to look above the, uh, uh, up in the top parts where you see some of the barrels at the top. We didn't find any. So there gets to a point where he just stops spawning, um, the, the, the green, the green puss balls. He just stopped spawning them. So, honestly, all you're going to have to do is just go right back into this. Give it another go. But in my opinion, this is well worth it. You get multiple levels for your weapon. And you get hella XP um, for, for just leveling up as well. To get all your other weapons that you do not have accumulated just yet. 
Hey guys, just want to say thank you so much for watching the video if you guys got this far. I hope this was very helpful uh, with what you guys were asking and what questions you guys needed answered. Um, and I hope this reached more people than those who were curious about this as well. Uh, I've been having a great time with this game and I know my buddy Derpy has as well. As I said earlier... This is all thanks to him. Derpy is the one that did find this. Uh, I wouldn't really call this a glitch, uh, but he did find this, that the pods gave so much XP compared to the ads. As you heard me talk about earlier in this video, ads really only give you about 3 to 4 XP. Meanwhile, these pods alone give you 45, and they literally take not even a second to kill. So it is well worth it. And it does take some time because you do got to sometimes do this mission over and over again, but you do get the levels out of it. You do get the XP out of it. And in my opinion, I think it is well worth it because you could do any other sector, but it's not going to give you the type of XP that this sector gives you. Anyways, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want any type of synced content like this, please let me know in the description, in the comments, not the description, in the comments below and I'll get cooking. Anyways, till then. I'll catch you guys later. Fade out.